to learn how the machine works before you can be expected to master it. Rotate the tires, change the oil, the spark plugs, check the fluid. My friends didn't have to learn any of this nonsense. They're already driving. Brian has a hog. I made a deal with your mom. If you want to use our car, you're going to have to learn my way. You got to stop making deals with mom. She tricks you every time. Stop making deals with mom. That's, that's what I took away there. Fresh off the boat is five seasons strong on ABC. Sitting with us today is the star you just saw him in that clip, Hudson Yang, who plays Eddie Hudson. Hudson. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you for having me. I'm so Thank excited. You. Yeah. You know, a minute ago, J uh, Jason and I really tried to get you to have some of this candy. You weren't having it. No, I don't eat candy. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the taste what? of anything. Yeah, yeah. I saw that ranking on the, on the screen. I, just, I can't agree with anything. You couldn't relate, right? Nah, nah. If you're going to have a snack, what do you have? Uh, well, if I was going to have like a dessert or like a sweet treat, it's got to be like frozen yogurt, like froyo. Okay, froyo. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm with that. I'm, I'm picking that up. A little yeah. froyo. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this show, I mean, I, acting. I want to talk about because there's stories about how you got into acting, per your dad, who's actually in the <laughs> studio, but we wanted to get the real deal. Oh, what man. prompted you to get into acting? It wasn't a girl? No, so, there's plenty of different stories. What's, um, what's the real one? I feel like, okay, so I was younger, so a lot of it kind of probably got bundled up in my head. I feel my real story was. It was kind of a mix of seeing my friends doing it, not not just a girl, but like a bunch of my friends acting and kind of having fun with it. And also, like, I was kind of curious. Like, I see all these people on TV and I see them all as like people who I look up to, people who I always wanted to be like. And then, like, I kind of feel like the last straw was like watching this ad with like, I don't know, like just like watching the ad with all these actors and they coming up and having a voice. Sure. And I always wanted to like be somebody and like be part of the world and be someone known. Right. And I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the story that my dad always tells, like about the girl, <laughs> has some like, Truth to it, but like I don't know. There's always a little, a little truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and a it's okay if it, that wasn't true. It's hey, okay, right? Let's right. do we are now. Well, that's the other thing you talk about wanting to be someone who's known. Right. Uh, you've you've been on television now for five years. It's a big <laughs> show. I've got some friends who worked on the show. We talked about that. Yes, we did. Ago. We did. Yeah. Um, what is it like becoming a known person? What has been the biggest surprise to you from that? I think the biggest surprise is like the kind of the people who who end up talking to me. Like mm -hmm. I met all these people who, as I said, I looked up to. Mm -hmm. I was like amazing to me. Like I. When I saw them, I just stood there starstruck. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And they came up to me, and, and I was like, like hey, what? What? And I was, like, super shocked. And then, like, also kind of meeting fans. It's always really awesome to talk and kind of, like, people ask me, how did you become an actor? And I always get kind of shocked because I don't know how I became yeah. an actor. I was so lucky. And I do my best to help them. But I feel like seeing all the people, like, kind of who look up to me is, like, it's super awesome. Do you have a favorite fan interaction story? Uh, I have a favorite, but not because I loved it. Uh -huh. um, I had this fan who, like, he messaged me on um, Instagram, and I thought it was really cool. He was sending me, like, talking to me for a while. I talked to him, and he sent me pictures. And at one point, he said that he found my address. And, like, yeah, and I was like, how, how, how'd you do this? And he was like, oh, yeah, I was on your dad's Facebook. And he posted, um, like, he was, like, to, to all his friends, like, he was trying to rent out his house. And it ended up, he actually ended up sending me photos that he drew of me to my house from, like, Italy. And I was, like, super shocked and, like, freaked out. But they're really good photos. But I was there just like, go. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Dude, this, dude, this dad, man. We got we to gotta wrangle him <laughs> okay, in. We got to get yeah, Facebook yeah, yeah. under control. Yes, yes. The bus yes. again. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Fresh off the boat was ahead of the curve in showing how awesome, how crucial, and how essential Asian, Asian representation is on television. Now we have uh, crazy, crazy Rich Asians, which is super successful. How does it feel to be a part of that? You know, I get this question, asking question, I get this question asked a lot. And it's super awesome, like to be part of this growing community and growing like group of people that I can relate to and talk to. I mean, one thing is that I, I'm like starstruck now with Constance Wu, even though I worked with her for five years. Like, yeah. <laughs> every time I see her, I remember this, the movie, which which made me cry. I was crying during the film. I watched it like three times, and yeah. I don't know. It's just so awesome. Also, just knowing that I've like kind of like been part of history. Sure. Right. Absolutely. An honor. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So talking about five years on the show, you're aging and sort of growing up with your character, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. uh, are there any parallels there? There's a lot, actually, because I think what happens is during the show shooting, they kind of start writing it towards me and sure. towards all the other characters. So a lot of stuff that I do on set, they kind of write into the character. Like, even learning how to drive, I talked about it on set with some people, and they, they kind of just like, oh, we should do that. That's funny. And it was kind of, like, surreal because I didn't realize, like, what driving was really like. <laughs> yeah, I only had, in like, L.A. <laughs> I, had, I had one class, and it was, like, an abandoned parking lot at, like, midnight. And I was like... I didn't push the brake, uh, uh, the pedal at all. I like let like the brake do the driving because you know kind of rolls on its own. Smart. It's just super scary. Like I can't see in front of me. I can't see behind me. I can't control the car properly. Mm -hmm. Like, dude. And then they kind of like made a little bit of jokes of that on the show, but I don't know. To be fifteen again. To be fifteen. I know. Right? Like, I'm, I'm like so. so I'm like it. reliving the splendor of my you guys youth. Are not now. That old. You guys but are... but it's cool because you're you're like learning to drive. But I think I read somewhere you had your first kiss Is on set true? as well. Is this oh, true? Oh my. Yeah. That was that was a 
a big thing, but like a, a big thing for me. I got really, tell us. Yeah, what tell happened us. when you found out it was going to be on camera? I mean, um, like at first, minutes. I was joking about it. I was like, uh, during the table, I was like, "Oh, <laughs> you guys, you guys are trying to mess with me, right?" <laughs> and I went on set, and then they were like, "Okay, Hudson, you ready?" And I was like, "What? What?" And I got really like upset. I didn't, I didn't want my first kiss to be on TV. I didn't want to have to like do that there, and I, I wasn't really ready for it. You know, I've always said I don't want to do any of that stuff until college. That's what my mom always told me. Sure. Well, yeah. Uh, um, let me ask you this though: like when you found out it was going to happen, did you like go to somebody? Were you like, did you hey, practice on your hand? I've never no. done this before. <laughs> right. Do you have any? How do I? I talked to the person that I had to kiss, Isabella, uh-huh. and I was like, "This is my. It's like I'm, I don't know what to do." She was like, "Don't worry, we'll make it work." And I was like, <laughs> "She's like, I got you, like this. I got you." She's like, "Oh, I have." She's like, "She's like." We can fake it, whatever you want. I don't worry. Like Hudson, just bring the men. So you're all good. <laughs> and I was all worried. I didn't know what to do. So it ended up being fine. But I was a little bit freaked out afterwards. But yeah. You you talk about your passion for acting so awesomely here, but you also have a passion for cooking. You are a young investor <laughs> yes. in a restaurant here in LA. Let's talk about that because you really like food. I do. Food is like one of my favorite things ever. I always like. Even as I was growing up, I always had like kind of like different taste for food. I wouldn't just eat it. I would like kind of experience it. Right. Like, I, I know everyone says that, but it's like I kind of felt like, especially since my grandmother was my inspiration for food, mm-hmm. um, doing something like this where it's like an Asian food, like Vietnamese food, it just kind of makes things like so much more powerful to me. Uh, and like yeah. going in the kitchen, seeing how they cook everything, seeing like their recipes, it just makes me feel like honored to be in that kitchen. Like mm-hmm. I've never really like had something like this on my own. So I just being in that kitchen and talking to the owners and, and learning from the chefs is like, one of the greatest things ever for me. Sort of the cultural components right. of food. Right, yeah, yeah. because you know, a lot of families in, of a lot of ethnicities, food is a love language. Mm-hmm. So when you, when you cook, you cook with love, and you talk about your family. So that's great, man. It's so young, doing so many awesome things. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Got your first kiss on TV. And listen, don't be mad about that, man. That, <laughs> that, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess so, but I guess it wasn't really real either, so I can't really, like, it's not my first kiss, really. It's what I think about, you know? Wait, have you had one? Have you had a first one since no, then? No, no. no. I said Are college, you sure? College, I In swear. College. I swear. Hey, okay. that's so, all right. We're not knocking it. We're not we're knocking not, it. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. on ET Live. I mean, if you want to come back and talk to us about dating, we can, like, help you out with this. Like, <laughs> oh, come man. To we got you. We got you. Oh, DMs, Instagram, you know where to find us, man. You know where to find us. <laughs> uh, Catch Hudson so on much. Fresh Thank Off you. the Boat, Fridays on ABC. Hudson, you are the man. Thanks for stopping by ET Live. Thank you.